were you thinking about messaging a specific person? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> because let's just talk about that before you do anything, okay? In this video, I'm gonna share with you my thoughts and then you'll be able to make an informed decision about what you should do. Because it's totally up to you, there's no right or wrong, but I'm just gonna share with you my thoughts on this to help you decide. Right, so hello everybody, it's me, Cory T, and I'm back with another video to help you on your journey to manifesting anything you want and to create the version of you that you want to be, that you actually are, and you just might need to unravel a bit through all of the stuff that you might have been through. So yesterday on Instagram, I did a Q&A asking people if they need any help with things to do with manifesting a specific person. And the questions just gave me this sense of heaviness, like, whoa, there is so much confusion in this community. I mean, really, it's like a minefield, isn't it? Because you've got one coach saying one thing very, very, very convincingly, and then you've got another coach saying something slightly different or completely different. And then what do you do? How do you know what's right or wrong? And I just felt the heaviness, the heaviness of how drained people are and the conflict, the inner conflict that's being created from all of these mixed messages and some honestly quite unhealthy things that I see people doing again and again on the journey to manifesting their specific person. And it's no surprise to me because I went through the same thing and I know, and I really, really know how confusing it is. And so that's why I've made the specific person revolution. And I am asking you if you would like to join this revolution because we're gonna be redefining the messaging of this community so that it feels peaceful and helpful and clear and healthy. So what I've done is I've created a presentation with everything that I can think of that is confusing in this community. And I've put it all in one place. And I'm gonna be presenting this in a workshop on the 17th of July, and I would love for you to come. If you would like to come, you can find more information about this workshop in the link below. I think it's gonna save people a lot of time, a lot of confusion, a lot of stress, and it will help you to feel excited and reignited and clear about your personal manifestational journey to whatever it is that you want. But in particular, this one is about manifesting a specific person because I think there's so much confusion. So if you would like to join the specific person revolution, then you can find information and book your ticket in the link below. It's on sale now until the 17th of July. So should you message or write to or call or whatever your specific person? How do you know when it's appropriate and how do you know when you shouldn't? Right, so as a rule, this is my general rule for this. If you're debating it and you're not sure and you're asking for reassurance, should I, shouldn't I? The answer is no, right? The answer is no if you're debating it, if you're wondering if it's the right thing to do, because you're not sure yourself, and particularly if you're asking for reassurance from friends or family or whatever, the answer is no, because you're confused within yourself already. Because it's often in those moments when we're like, oh, should I send this, shouldn't I send this, I don't know, I'm not sure, is when we're not sure of what we're saying, we're not sure why we're doing it, or unconsciously we actually want to get something we want a particular response or we need a particular response from them in order for us to feel okay about it because if we don't get that response then really we're just going to go into a spiral and we're going to feel worse or maybe they won't reply and then we'll feel worse so you've got to ask yourself am i okay if this person doesn't reply if they reply coldly or if they just don't say what i want them to say am i okay with that because if you're not okay with that then don't do it, don't put yourself through it. Because if you're trying to get a response from them or you're trying to get them to see you or think about you, then it says to me that you're still reliant on them and you're still looking to them for that external validation and comfort and you're trying to kind of manipulate the situation in your favour and that's not where you want to be. Really you want to be in a state where you're like, it absolutely does not matter if this person replies to me, doesn't reply to me, I just don't care. I just want to say what I want to say and it doesn't matter to me if they don't reply. And you've got to think, am I honestly going to be okay within myself 
if they don't respond the way that I want them to because if the answer is I'm not sure or yeah maybe I would actually be disappointed then just don't put yourself through it at the moment it says to me that you're not quite ready to do that so just give yourself some more time the likelihood is that you will communicate with this person again and you'll get to say everything that you've ever wanted to say and you've got to trust that the other time when i highly highly recommend that you don't message your specific person is when you're particularly emotional so when you're emotional it's basically like sending a drunk text really because you're in a different state altogether. And when that state has changed, when you've sobered up from that highly emotional state, you might not have said what you were gonna say in the emotional state. So I'd highly recommend that if you're particularly emotional, you don't do anything. You just allow yourself to go through those emotions and notice, am I emotional? Am I really upset? Am I angry? Am I frustrated? Am I really missing this person? Am I feeling really highly connected to this person? Because that's also quite a highly emotional state as well. And we can think, okay, yeah, I'm fine. I'm actually fine. But in reality, you're really quite emotional because you're feeling this strong sense of connection and you think, I really want to message them. But actually, just allow yourself to stabilise a bit. Allow yourself to emotionally sober up, basically. Get grounded, go out for a walk, have a sleep, think about it the next day and see how you feel. Because then you'll be more balanced and your state might have changed and you might be thinking differently. There were so many times when I really, really wanted to message Johnny when we were apart. And I thought, I can't do it because I'm really, really emotional and I'm just gonna have to wait and see how I feel the next day. And the next day I think, oh my God, thank God I didn't send that long ass message that I wrote out. I'm so relieved that I didn't send that. And I'd just be so grateful for the times where I waited and then made a decision based on a more stable state. So that's a very big piece of advice about that. So the other thing as well is that say you did send a message and you wish you hadn't, don't worry about it. It was meant to be because I've done that as well. I definitely really definitely did do that. Um, I remember one time in particular in Italy and I was having that thing where I was like feeling like oh my god he's definitely thinking about me and I feel so connected to him and I just can feel his energy and I really really wanted to message him and I wrote out a message and it was something like I'm wearing the same bracelets that you're wearing and I'm thinking about you every day it was something really <laughs> cringy like that and we hadn't spoken for months and he saw it and he didn't reply and I was like oh my god I just in that emotional state got that wrong I must have got that wrong maybe I didn't get it wrong maybe he was really thinking about me but at the time he couldn't reply and he was respecting me by not replying because he at the time was with someone else and I'd said to him don't talk to me if you're with someone else so he respected me by not replying but it felt horrible and I wasn't ready to send a message and not get a reply I wasn't ready for that so it was the it wasn't the right thing to do but at the same time it happened and it didn't change anything we still ended up together so just forgive yourself if that happens, forgive yourself if you send a message that you wish you hadn't sent, because it's not the end of the world. There are some times where I feel like it's almost appropriate actually to send a message about what you've been thinking. And that's when, for example, say you had a really awful breakup and it just suddenly ended all of a sudden and you never spoke about it. You never had a conversation. Loads and loads of things went unsaid. And in the time that you've had a part, you've, you've realized a lot, you've realized your mistakes, you've taken responsibility for your mistakes. And if there's things that you really wanna say that didn't get said before, I think personally, this is my personal opinion, that it's okay to send one message, a short one, summarizing those things as if to say hey this is where i'm at now but only if you're okay with not getting a response with not getting the response that you wanted or if nothing happens because of that if you want to say it because it's for you for you to release that for you to say the things that you wanted to say i personally think that there's nothing wrong with that so I've had lots of clients um, tell me about messages or even letters that they wrote 
And some of these messages were absolutely beautiful and beautifully written. And in their case, it was like they said in a short and succinct way what they uh, were thinking, what they felt, what they'd realised. And it was not intended for them to reply, for them, for the situation to change, for them to come back to them, to reconnect. It was just like, this is what I have to say. And actually, there's a couple of times in the past where I sent Johnny a message like that. And to me, the relief in that was, I said everything that I wanted to say. I did everything I could and there was no stone left unturned. I said everything I could. So I don't have any regrets about not saying something. And in that case, I felt relief. But honestly, the truth is when I sent those messages, I did not expect, need, or even want a reply. It was for me, it was for me. But you can't do this if you're disrespecting someone's boundary. So if someone has said, we can't talk at the moment, or please give me space, or I'm not ready to talk to you, or I'm with someone else now, and I can't receive a message from you. You do have to respect that. You have to respect that in my opinion. You have to respect that just as much as you would want them to respect your boundaries. So you have to really check in with yourself and say, is it appropriate for me to send this right now? And if it's not, you have to be honest with yourself about that. And the way that you can give yourself comfort in those moments when you really, really wanna send a message, but you know it's not the right moment to do it, is just know that you will get the opportunity to say everything that you've wanted to say. And just you trust the process, trust God, trust the higher self, trust the universe that it will all be okay and you will get to say what you've wanted to say. So in summary, the general rule is, if you're debating it, should I, shouldn't I, I don't know, asking for reassurance, writing it out, deleting it, writing it again, don't do it, don't. That's your unconscious mind saying, I'm not really sure if I'm okay with sending this or not. You know, listen to that, listen to the confusion. If on the other hand, you're like, yep, I'm just gonna send it out. I honestly don't care, I'm doing this for me. And it does not matter if this person replies or not, it's fine, I'm doing it for me. And I don't expect anything back. I'm not trying to get anything. Then there's nothing wrong with that because you're not gonna get hurt because you're genuinely not expecting anything back. If you're highly emotional, don't do it. That's like sending a drunken text. You might regret it when you have emotionally sobered up. The other scenario is if you've got things that you want to say, that you want to say for you, to leave no stone left unturned, to relieve you of the things that you didn't say, but you're not expecting anything back and you keep it short and sweet, then I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. But pick your moments because if someone has given you a boundary and said, no, I don't want to talk to you and I'm with someone else, or something's happened where I just can't speak to you at the moment or I'm not ready and let's have a break, you have to respect that. You have to respect that because just as you want to be respected, you've got to respect other people's boundaries. Just trust that your time, your time to talk about what you wanna say is gonna come. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you to make a decision about if you should or shouldn't message your specific person. Let me know in the comments below what you've decided, because that would be really interesting. If you would like some one-to-one -one coaching, then you can find information on my website. If you would like to join the specific person revolution, you can buy a ticket in the link below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.